Yeah, welcome back to our classroom. Here we are going to discuss about uh, thrust and pressure. So generally, what is called thrust means force, and pressure means force by area. Okay. So we start with small demo. Here I have taken one small screw. This is the head of the screw, and the tip has sharp edge. Yes. And can you able to see? Yes. Okay. If I am going to hammering on the top of the surface head. Okay, what will happen? This uh, screw will go inside either the wall or anything, right? So it will go inside. If I am applying the force which is exactly perpendicular to its surface, this is the surface of this head. For that surface, I am applying the force perpendicular, 90 degree, exactly 90 degree. I am applying. So here the area is large, right? And I am applying the force. The same force will goes to the tip, right? But here. The tip has smaller area, therefore it reaches maximum forces. So if you are apply very little bit of force, it can easily go inside because of this area is small, right? Okay. So here we can move on to our topic. Camel can run in a desert easily. Why? In the sense it has lesser area, so it can run easily. Motor bus has wider tires because of area is increases, pressure can withstand. Cutting tools have sharp edge. If it is sharp edge, it can easily go inside because of area decreases. We can give a little bit of amount of force, right? So here we have one pin, right? So head is here, and this is tip. We have tip is sharp edge, and compared to head, the tip is area is less. If you are applying the force, that is thrust. Okay. If you are applying the force, what will happen? Yes. So the head of the pin will receive the force. Due to this area increases, it will receive little bit of pressure. But here, area is decreases. Area decreases means the pressure will increases easily increases because if you are applying very little force, it can easily go. So, what is called thrust? So, thrust is a net force in a particular direction or one direction that is called thrust. Or otherwise, we can say that the force acting on object. On an object perpendicular to the edge surface. So, what is called perpendicular edge surface? Yes, here we have the right. So, perpendicular means which is acting exactly here. That is called perpendicular. If you are doing like that, that will gives. If you are applying here, that will gives parallel. So, if you are applying the force exactly perpendicular, that is called thrust. And here I said here the area is increases, right? So, here I wrote the pressure is equal to force by area. Area increases. What will happen? The pressure is see, will become decreases in that point. Here I wrote right. The pressure is equal to force by area. Area increases. This pressure will more. If area decrease, area decreases. Pressure will more. Area increases. Pressure will less. So here I wrote area increases. Force decreases due to pressure decreases. Area decreases. Force will increases and the pressure will also increases because the Pressure is directly proportional to force. So here I can say that the force acting on an object perpendicular to the surface. And second example, if you stand in a loose sand, what will happen? Your leg will go down, right? Little bit will go down inside the sand, right? Why? Yes, we have some pressure as well as thrust. We have, and the same scenario, we are going to. Lay down, lie down in loose stand. That time your body will go inside. No, right? Why? Yes. In the both the scenario, the thrust is same, but the pressure will be different. Why? In the sense, if you are standing on the loose stand, in the sense your entire weight, yes, will act on in the small area in your leg, two legs, right? The area of your two legs becomes very less when compared to you lie down on the sand. Yes. If you lie down, that time your area of contact to the sand is increases. That's why I said earlier, if area increases, the force will get down, right? So you cannot go inside. So in that both the both cases, thrust is same because thrust is called the perpendicular direction which is acting on the surface, right? If you are standing on the surface, in the sense both weight, the weight is same, weight which is acting on your on the sand is same, but pressure will be different because of area is varied, so so that the pressure will be varied. The pressure varies. This one will not go down because pressure less, and this one will go down because of pressure increases. Because of area decreases, pressure increases. For this case, area increases, pressure will decreases. Right? 
and the pressure is equal to thrust by area and the SI unit for thrust is Newton and pressure we have Newton per meter square or Newton meters, uh, mu meter power minus 2 or otherwise one more we have Pascal P A P is capital in this one. I hope you understand well about this concept. Thank you. See you in the next video.